Hello, this is Joe McGee. Welcome to our podcast. Make sure that you subscribe and please share the podcast with your friends. That is the number one way you can help us reach people with God's love and healing. We love you guys. Hope you enjoy the podcast. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Wednesday Wisdom with Joe McGee, where we take a word out of the Bible and we get some scriptures to it. Uh, I've done this for years when I taught uh, high school kids for 10 years. I realized something. You didn't need to go real deep with them. Sometimes I'm, we'd have teachers come in. Too many scriptures, too much information. Keep it simple. You know, uh, Jesus had kids hanging around him all the time. Kids love to be with Jesus. Why? He was fun to be around. I got two old, two grandfathers. One was fun. One was not fun. Who'd you hang with? The one that was fun. Did you ever hang with one that's not fun? No. Why'd you not hang with him? He's not fun. Uh, kids love to be with Jesus because he was fun to be with. Gave him back rides, told fun stories, and sharing parables all the time. The disciples got mad with time. Lord, get rid of all these kids. Jesus said, no, for such is the kingdom of God. You offend one of these little ones that believe in me, you just as soon hang a millstone around your neck, jump in the Sea of Galilee, and drown yourself. It would be better for you to do that than offend one of these little ones that believe in me. Powerful scripture. So we go over the word plans. The word plans is great. Uh, everybody needs a plan. <laughs> so I'll start with this one. Jeremiah 29, verse 11. Jeremiah 29, 11, for I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans for good and not for disaster. They are plans to give you a future and a hope. Now, I got that one memorized early in my spirit for your life. What's it, Jeremiah 29, 11? What's it? Well, it was a letter that Jeremiah wrote to the children of Israel. Uh, Nebuchadnezzar just invaded Jerusalem, killed a lot of people, burnt down a lot of houses, taking a lot of slaves. And so what Nebuchadnezzar do going to the town and take the boys from the most influential families, uh, leaders, politicians, military guys. He would take the boys from the most influential families, take them back to Babylon, and for three years, send them through school. He's going to teach them the Chaldean language, the Chaldean religion, the Chaldean way. If they passed three years later, he would send them back to rule over their former country on his behalf. He, he controlled the known world doing this. He's real smart. And so among these were Daniel. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Well, part of the letter that Jeremiah sent to Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, this guy said, I know it's not going real good for you today. Uh, Nebuchadnezzar killed your parents, killed your pet goat, burnt down your house, made you a slave. You're here in Babylon. But I want you to know something. I did not do this to you. I have no plans to harm you. I have plans to prosper to give you a future and a hope. And he sent the letter to him to let him know, you did this to yourself but I've got a way out. And it was an incredible story. But that's another sermon. So there are plans for good, not for disaster to give you a future and a hope. I know this day's not going good, but I have great plans for your future. So if you're having a bad day, you just need to read, read Jeremiah. God has great plans for my future. Today might've been a great day. Might've been a bad day. Might've been a great week, a bad week, a great month, a bad month. Doesn't matter. God has great plans for my life. He wants to give me a future and a hope. God has some good plans for my life. God's not trying to hurt me, not trying to hurt me or harm me. He's trying to give me a better future. Ooh, that was good. Psalm 20, verse 4. Psalm 20, verse 4. May God grant your heart's desires and make all your plans succeed. Whoa. That's good. What did he say? May God grant you your heart's desire. What do you desire in your heart? Well, may God grant that and make all your plans succeed. God, may God make all your plans succeed. Put that on a bumper sticker. Psalm 33, verse 11. But the Lord's plans stand firm forever. His intentions can never be shaken. You got to meditate on this stuff. I remember when I did this with my own kids, they would be amazed. Is that in the Bible? Is that in the Bible? Yeah, baby, all this stuff's coming out of the Bible, the same Bible you got, same Bible I got. Volume two's not coming out. God's hanging with volume one. It's an incredible book. I like this. Psalm 40, verse 5. Psalm 40, verse 5. Oh, Lord, my God, you have performed many wonders for us. Your plans for us are too numerous to list. Your plans for us are so many, we couldn't list them all. God has so many good plans for you, you couldn't write them all down. Whoever you are listening right now, God has so many good plans for you, you couldn't write them all down. God's not trying to hurt you. He's not to harm you. 
You got a devil that's trying to hurt you and harm you. He's a thief, a murder, and a liar. He wants to steal, kill, and destroy. But I've been taken out of his kingdom. I've been placed in the kingdom of God's dear son. He has nothing but good plans for me. Your plans are too numerous for us to list. You have no equal. If I tried to recite all your wonderful deeds, I would never come to the end of them. There are so many good plans God's got for you. God said, you couldn't write them all down. There are too many. You think, well, my life's miserable. No, it's not. God's got great plans. But you need to turn to God and give your life to God. You should give your life to God. He'll talk. I tell people all the time, you talk to God, he'll talk back. You draw close to him, he'll draw close to you. It's a real simple process. Like playing checkers. You move, God moves. You move, God moves. You move, God moves. You don't move, God doesn't move. God's not moved out of pity. God's moved out of faith. Psalm 54, verse 5. Psalm 54, verse 5. May the evil plans of my enemies be turned against them. Do as you promise and put an end to them. Now, that's a Davidic prayer. And there's got several of them. You read through some. David prayed some nasty things over his enemy. Is that legitimate? Well, David did it. He's the king all kings are measured against. So I'll read it again. This is David. He's talking to God. He's talking to God. David, the king all kings are measured against. He's talking to God. May the evil plans of my enemies be turned against them. Whatever they're plotting for me, God, turn it back on them. Whatever they're planning for me, turn it back on them. That's a prayer. That is a legitimate prayer. Oh, my goodness. Do as you promise and put an end to them. Psalm 138, verse 8. Psalm 138, verse 8. The Lord will work out his plans for my life. For your faithful love, O Lord, endures forever. Do not abandon me, for you have made me. I'm just going back to the first sentence. The Lord will work out his plans for my life. For your love endures forever. The Lord will work out his plans for my life. What, what's God plan for you? Well, he's going to work it out. You can't stop it. You can refuse to do it, but you can't stop God's plans. You can refuse to be obedient. You just sit down on a, a roadside table and, you know, when this is around the corner and not have a life and gripe about it your whole, the whole time you're living. Well, nothing ever turned out for me. And I didn't have a daddy. I didn't have a mama. My coach wouldn't play me. My teacher wouldn't pass me. My wife left. My dog bit me. My boss fired me. Everybody's got, most people have a sad song they want to sing. They think it feels good to have people feel sorry for them. I don't want anybody feeling sorry for me. I want to be the head, not the tail above and not beneath. I want everything I set my hand to to prosper. God promised it for me. And so I don't care if I fall down and scoop dirt with my lower lip seven times a day. I'm going to jump back up, spit the dirt in my mouth, and start moving again. It's a great life. Proverbs 16, 3. Proverbs 16, verse 3. Commit your actions to the Lord. And your plans will succeed. How's my plans going to succeed? Well, commit your day to the Lord. Lord, this is the day you have made. I'm going to rejoice and be glad in it. I commit this day in your hands. I think I'm going to order my steps, direct my path, surround with the shield of divine favor. People are going to like me, not even know why. That's all scripture. God will watch over his word to perform it, but you've got to give him his word to work over. Proverbs 20, verse 18. Proverbs 20, verse 18. Plan succeed through good counsel. Do not go to war without wise advice. Nobody does anything by themselves. If one can put a thousand to fly, two can put 10,000 to fly. There's, a, there's strength in numbers. So get somebody to get in agreement with you. You know, Matthew 18, 9, if you need two of you shall agree on anything they ask you on earth, it'll be done by my Father in heaven. That's what Jesus said. Two are better than one. Then the last scripture, 1 Corinthians 1, 25. 1 Corinthians 1, 25. The foolish plan of God is wiser than the wisest of human plans. God's weakness is stronger than the greatest human strength. It's all God. It's all God. God's good. He's trying to bless. He's trying to help. So let's let them, let's let them order our steps. God has nothing but good plans for your life. So let's start learning to live it. Let's live out the good plans for our life. It's going to be fun. It's going to be a, going to be a great testimony. God bless guys. Thanks for listening. Be sure to join us Monday, Wednesday, and Friday to hear more of what God can do in your life. It's got a great future for you and your family. And we're here to help you get there. Please make sure you visit Joe McGee Ministries on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. There you find all of our Friday funny videos and other encouraging resources for you and your family. While you're at it, be sure to visit JoeMcGee.com. We have all sorts of materials, books, DVDs, you name it, all there to help you, your marriage, and your family succeed.